Tries to flick it through and can't. Slide in from him. Then he gets tangled up. Steedman to the rescue. And now the Q's pushing forward once again. Here's Raposo. And Salas recovers. Thomas will head it into space and allow Carolina to get back into their shape. That ball ricocheting off of Thomas and Richmond, and Salas slides in to take the ball away from. Well, picking into Miami. This job by Fernandez Salvador to pop it out. Virginia with some excellent passing. We recruit nationally, and a ton of players from both international and. Slevin marked by Bruni and Salas splits two defenders, but can't get around Salas. <laughs> Right at the top, top corner of the box. Loses his man and finds a bit of a seam. Those Carolina center backs. He goes up against Blake Malone there. Uses his frame and, and really tosses him to the ground. But that's going to be a battle all night long. He saw exactly where Taff was looking to play the ball to the top of the box and cut it off Chance before for he get there. Chance for Creighton on the counter, but Mark Sum. Harris now into space. Harris will cut it back. And Harris losing real estate. Same with Skadarsson. Kelly wins it away. Blue Devils had potentially a three on two on this side of the field. Here's Daniel Wright now one on three into the 18 yard box. Nicely done by Salas, not only to win the ball, win the. Trapped by Rose. Tingy allowed to bring it up for Stanford. And Salas picks off, picks Richmond's pocket. Voice. Looking for Greg Hurst. That ball ran out of steam. It was well read by Mark Salas. And the 49ers now the other direction. He's able to get it upfield. Kiza plays it out wide. Kiza loses his footing. Ball played into the box. Past one. Nine. And now with numbers, Louisville had a four on two. Dunwell, Argudo. Up against Salas, and that's good defending by the. It's been a staple on defense for Clemson and since that freshman year. It was also named Top Drawer Soccer's best 11. Came in off the bench in the first half to play 10 minutes, takes the throw in, gets it. <laughs> Yosuke. Montez Diaco. That is Gio Tawo. Reverses field far side. Into the 18. Good defense though by. Peters, the only one credited with an assist on that goal. Good to can create through some tests. This potent Duke side, only one shot so far. North Carolina with none. This ball crossed in for Daniel Wright. South. And a big switch of play, but. There's Mark Salas, the right back, the senior who's played. Peters gets it back to Lindley. As Comcia and Pineda are forward. Salas. Salas with the chip. He found Peters. Yeah. And North Carolina gets the. Salas pings it long. Great ball back, Peters, Peters! In the country. Second half underway. Again, delighted to be with you. That one played long, Montez.
I mean, Carolina, there's a through pass to the far side. And against Carolina in the match. Offensive juggernauts to think that, that this group is, is up among them is pretty special. By sheer numbers of goals allowed, they would stand as the best. Cleared out of there on a header by DK, no less. DK's header having made the difference in these games, scored on that in the fifth minute, or in this game tonight, scored on that in the fifth minute. Looking long. Eleven minutes and change left in this one. Over the top. He met when I asked Marlon LeBlanc for his keys, Alex, this is what he said, and then I'd like to see what you th active leader in D1 win percentage across the country, which is very impressive. Speaks to the success that he's had here at North Carolina. It's for the Panthers is the speed and the return of Braden Klein as he had to sit out on Monday. Has Since getting reps, the experience, knowing when to, to take players 1v1, when to pull it off, when to pull it back, and let's go play. Pineda. Pineda on the move through the midfield. Carolina uniforms. Final minute left in this game. Apple Hill. His brother plays for Bo Lashani at Dartmouth. But the pressure that Liberty is putting on Carolina here, trying to make it tough for them to get the ball upfield. Apple Hill. Salas, one, two. He's in the air. He's almost a little bit raw. Like, he has all these intangibles, but can he put it together consistently? It's just a very pleasant day. Is the first test for Alex Smur. 18 career shutouts for Smur, the native of Greensboro. Six feet, two inches tall. Just eight goals against this year. Tar Heel still searching for that equalizer. They scored one. They equaled one. playing it smart there, not trying to get counterattacked, leaving four four players back behind the ball, not trying to attack on that corner. This is one of those games, too, a situation where just brilliant individual play, you know, breaking down a defender, getting a shot off, and, and walking home with a victory. That that may be what it takes to win tonight because <laughs> the buildup. But right in the hands of Marlins. fell after leading up at Notre Dame, so the Fighting Irish move forward to take on Clemson Sunday at 7 o'clock. Mark Salas getting forward from his right back spot. He does not make many forays in the attacking third. Gets that pass back. Now UNC is just keeping the ball in their own half. Smear being pressured here by Jennings. Gets it off and back out towards midfield. No shot from Peters, and it's cleared away by the Knights. Big time save by Uttel. Good skill by Salas. Olofsson. Touched on. Olofsson again toward the middle. Montez Dioko. This is Salas into the middle. Good cross. An opportunity is batted down. Said it might be. Anson that I'm playing though with the amount of <laughs> subs that he's out there. Anson Dorrance, the women's soccer coach, known for full line changes during games. Legendary head coach of the Carolina women. Carolina uniform walking 
around with some crutches during halftime and looks like it might be him so they're losing a big key part to their offense for the entire game they had him i think it was three maybe